Hello and welcome. You're watching The Wire. I'm Stravasti Das Gupta. Last week, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal was arrested by the Enforcement Directorate in connection with the liquor excise policy case. In the last one week, he has become the only sitting Chief Minister in the country to continue to run his government from jail. But before we get into the questions that are being raised about that, uh, let's also uh, examine the other questions that have come up with his arrest, uh, along with the timing of the arrest, as well as how the party is going to navigate this just ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. To discuss all this and more, we have Priyanka Kakkar. She is the Chief National Spokesperson of the Aam Aadmi Party joining us today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Shrabasti. So, uh, before we get into how the government is being run from jail, because a lot of questions are being raised on that, my first question to you is about how this arrest actually took place. Because this happened last week on Thursday, just, just hours after the Delhi High Court uh, said that there is no interim protection to be given to Arvind K. Jival in the case. And shortly after, just as the electoral bonds data was published on the Election Commission's website, we saw that enforcement director and officials reached Ms., uh, Mr. K. Jival's house. And shortly after, after that he was arrested. How do you see the timing of this playing out? It definitely raises a lot of questions. Um, the most surprising thing is as soon as the electoral bond data was released later that evening, we came to realize that Sharad Chandra Reddy, who was considered the kingpin of the South Liquor Lobby, and no less the ED made this accusation. It came to light that just four days after his arrest in November 10, 2022, the ED was, the BJP, the BJP was given a donation of 60 crore rupees through the electoral bonds and then subsequently during that period, he turns into an approver, a Sarkari Gava and then gives a, there is no written statement also as of now, it gives a statement against Arvind Kejiwalji. Now strange is this case because um, this Sharat Chandra Reddy, he was awarded licenses within five zones under the new excise policy in Delhi. This new excise policy in Delhi was in operation between July 2020, November 2021 to July 2022. I'm sorry, it was in operation from July 2021 to November 2022. And then subsequently on 9th November, the ED reaches his residence to question him. He was asked to give an incorrect bayan against Arvind Kejriwalji, which he refused. On 10th of November 2022, he was arrested. While his incarceration, he even went to approach the High Court for his regular bail and stated that he was pressurized a lot by the ED to give an incorrect statement against Arvind Kejriwalji, and the ED was even using force against him. However, his application, bail application was rejected simply because by now PMLA provisions had kicked in. And as we all know by now that PMLA is a very draconian law. Bail is almost impossible to obtain under this law. Somehow something happens. 60 crore goes from his company to the BJP during his incarceration period. And then suddenly he turns an approver and then suddenly he names Arvind Kejriwalji. So this is an eye-opener of a case where a money trail directly into the BJP account is established by somebody who the ED was calling a kingpin of the South Liquor Lobby. How more, How much more blatant can it get? You are raising an important question about the links between uh, Sharad Chandra Reddy of Aurobindo Pharma. Of course, this has also been reported in the media by uh, the Project Electoral Board yes. who have uh, raised these questions as well, uh, establishing the money trail. But also the fact of the matter is that uh, Arvind Kejriwal <laughs> was uh, summoned by the ED at least eight times, but he did not respond to those summons. So the argument being made is that he did not cooperate with the probe and therefore they had proceeded to arrest him. How do you see that? That is a flimsy, meritless argument simply because uh, PMLA laws are such now if today I say Shravasti met me here and I gave her 5 crore rupees, the onus is on you to prove it that you did not receive this money and you came to me for this interview. So also there are several other technicalities, I have oversimplified it, there are several other technicalities which absolutely prevents Anyone, anyone accused under the PMLA laws to get any bail unless the ED says that they have no objection to the bail. As it happened in Sarat Chandra Reddy's case, as it happened in Chagan Bujbal's case, Chagan Bujbal's, one he, once he joined the BJP, the ED submitted in court that they wanted to close his files. Bail granted. As it happened in Ajit Pawar's case, Ajit Pawar's case is such, such a glaring example that he was accused 
by no none other than the prime minister of the country that he was involved in a 70000 crore corruption matter and yet once he joins the bjp the file the case is closed the ed submits they don't want to pursue similarly happened with the bhavna gavle there were five ed summons that went to her and once she joined the bjp the case was closed so this is a pattern and why should we buckle under pressure we have done nothing wrong there is nothing to hide it's been over 2 years they are hounding us i don't know how many raids they've conducted by now even one is ongoing as we speak right now and not a penny recovered from any of our leaders and why this is important is because pmla the primary constituent for a case to qualify under pmla is proceeds of crime which to date have not been established not been found not been recovered despite such hounding of the aam aadmi party so we were not going to buckle under the pressure we responded to each notice each summons that was uh, received by us we told them how it was illegal but he did not appear right before the ed well he also said that you can question me in a written format or you can question me through a vc but the objective was always to arrest him and keep him outside during the election period when the mcc i mean how much more blatant does it get the mcc is in operation and yet he was arrested this is not allowed by law so the objective always was never investigation we offered to say answer questions in writing we offered to answer questions through vc but the objective was never investigation an investigation of what this entire case is fabricated i mean we should all be questioning that somebody who the bjp's ed constantly said is a south lobby ka kingpin how come the bjp took 60 crores from him once he was arrested that's huge that's massive it cannot be downplayed hmm. this is something of course that will come up in court um, as uh, mr yes. kejriwal's uh, bail plea and uh, hearing goes and way uh, but the other part of the uh, question that that is arising with this case is the fact that uh, kejriwal has become the first chief minister to be running the government from jail now we have not seen this before we know that two months ago uh, when uh, uh, jharkhand chief minister hemant soren was arrested he decided to give in his resignation before he was taken into custody and somebody else is now running the government champai soren is now in charge of the government but mr kejriwal has chosen to run the government from jail itself he has already issued two orders one relating to water the other relating to um, medicines in the mohalla clinics but the fact is that yes there is no constitutional bar but but practically is is it practical to run the government from jail absolutely arvind kejriwal ji has repeatedly won in delhi with a historical mandate each time the people of delhi love him for his schemes we are the one state government which is in surplus revenue after uh, giving free electricity up to 200 units uh, after giving 24/7 electricity let me tell you an interesting fact even in 2024 delhi happens to be the only state with just 24 hour electricity supply 7 days a week mm. going forward whether it is water whether it is the schemes uh, for women empowerment whether it is our uh, फ्री महिलाओं के लिए बस यात्रा और वेदर इट इज फ्री बुजुर्गों के लिए तीर्थ यात्रा अरविंद केजरीवाल जी हैज ऑलवेज डन थिंग्स टू अपलिफ्ट द लिविंग स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑफ दिल्ली आई दैट इज व्हाई द पर कैपिटल इनकम ऑफ दिल्ली इज आई थिंक फोर टाइम्स हायर देन द नेशनल एवरेज द इन्फ्लेशन इज द लोएस्ट इन डेली दिस इज बिकॉज यू हैव एन ऑनेस्ट गवर्नमेंट इन पावर हियर विच डज नॉट फिल इट्स ओन पॉकेट्स unlike the bjp rural states you pick out you tell me one state i challenge the bjp to tell me one state today which is not running on loans and which is uh, giving a governance like the delhi model none but but a sitting chief minister has to attend cabinet meetings he has to meet with his ministers he has to sign files how is all that going to happen while he is in jail because every file i'm guessing will have to pass through court the permission well, has to be taken how it, it's practically it can call, cause a delay and and of course your party has said that he's doing it for the people of delhi but but is this delay and this practicality uh, not in the interest of the people of delhi i assure you that arvind kejriwal is a very fast paced government uh, our only regret in fact has always been that had the lg and the central government not created as many obstacles that it has in our tenure of rule here we would have completed the works that we did in 10 years we would have completed them in 5 to 6 years so it is always the lg and the central government which has obstructed our work i assure you that 
the there is no bar like you said let me first uh, let me first answer to that legally there is no bar in the constitution the only bar that exists under the representation of people act like, which says that you cannot run a government unless you are convicted so in this case if bjp is pressurizing us in this manner why should we buckle i mean are they competent to run a government when they have for example a chagan bhujbal and ajit pawar or now a sanjay saroj in their fold is that why they are more competent is the bjp more competent because today the dollar has hit 88 rupees uh, uh, a rupee has hit 88 ru 88 rupees for one dollar or is it because 93000 people in uttar pradesh for example apply for 64 peon jobs that is the kind of unemployment this government has given what moral right what legal right does the central government have to remain in power what has the what does it have to show we have constantly performed why should we buckle down under the pressure we will be running the government and we will run it much more efficiently the fact also is that you are saying that you will run the government from jail um, but just going back to the example of uh, himant soren who deputed his work is there a question of a leadership crisis perhaps in the amadmi party which is why you do not want to depute the work mr kejriwal does not want to depute his work to somebody else because you have so many able leaders why not just give it to somebody else uh, for the duration that he is in jail why should we is mr arvind kejriwal a convict is mr arvind kejriwal a murderer there, there is no reason if you give me one sound reason why what incapacitates him then probably this narrative which is floated by the bjp and probably will have some merit and i could answer it but there is not one reason why arvind kejriwal why why arvind kejriwal ji shouldn't run from the government uh, run the government from jail in fact he even did a survey a constant survey spanning some few months because we had a kind of gauged this possibility because bjp only always wanted to arrest and not there was no investigation ever because there is no scam and the overwhelming support was that the that only arvind kejriwal ji should run the government even if he is jailed so that is that okay you are saying that uh, you've got overwhelming support for kejriwal to run the government but um, at the also the other part of the uh, of the whole issue is that the aam aadmi party has of course come up on a massive anti corruption plank uh, back in 2012 with the anna hazare movement and when the party was formed and mr kejriwal has always been seen as a flag bearer of anti corruption and that's how uh, he has won successive victories in delhi as well but with this whole issue the liquor excise policy case two ministers manish the sodia satyendra the jain former ministers are already in jail rajya sabha mp uh, sanjay singh he is also in jail and now your party stallest leader arvind kejriwal is also in jail and all this is happening just before the lok sabha elections so do you think the anti corruption image of your party has taken a hit absolutely not our netas were are and will remain kattar imandar uh, all our karyakartas are people who are kattar imandar not a penny has been recovered till date they have always you know the other side is a bangaru lakshman ki party who whose premise is your know, bangaru lakshman was the adhyaksh of bjp and the premise was that he was caught on camera taking a bribe of 1 lakh rupees in desh ka raksha sauda i mean something related to the national security of a country he was caught taking bribe in that so if some if people like them accuse us that doesn't make it true you have not been able to recover a penny you you know even mahatma gandhi ji bhagat singh ji these legends were also in jail does not make them corrupt or incorrect so we are right now under a legal process and like we all know process is the punishment and I, we do believe bhagwan ke yahan bhi der hai andher nahi and similarly with the judiciary it will so happen right imagine it's been 2 years not a penny recovered and trial hasn't begun how long can you keep them inside you know the trial hasn't begun i mean what more proof do you need that we are honest so this is a pure draconian law and your viewers must also know and you know in pmla they made so what had happened in supreme court sometime in 2017 or 18 had declared section 45 of the pmla as unconstitutional because it put the onus on the person who was accused of the crime to prove his guilt and the supreme court declared this provision unconstitutional but subsequently the bjp through a money bill route some legal technicalities involved i won't delve deeper into it through the money bill route they brought about an amendment which revived this section 45 you know if anybody who covers the law knows that a con a provision which has been declared unconstitutional cannot be brought back into the books of law but it so happened now this is again under challenge it is coming up in june or july this year before the supreme court 
But this is the reason that you often see the Supreme Court coming down heavily in courts on the ED. Stop misusing the law. The law will rule its relevance. How long do you want to keep a person behind bars without trial? So all of these observations and judgments are coming out. And I can tell you, like we saw, digressing a bit, but like we saw in say the Chandigarh mayor election case where the chori was caught on camera. And they had to be, they, you know, everyone came down heavily on them. Similar will be the fate with BJP once this PMLA provision is again tested, whether the BJP was in, was capable to make such an amendment of a provision which was declared unconstitutional previously by the Supreme Court. So it's only a matter of time. Okay, you're saying it's a matter of time, but the elections are around the corner. The model That's code true. of conduct has uh, kicked in and uh, we're going into elections uh, as as we speak. But Mr. K. Jival, as we know, is in jail. So how is that going to affect the morale of your party? And how is the party going to uh, prepare for elections now with K. Jival being in jail? See... You've come to the party office, it's buzzing with activity and the, it is no denying that it is a jolt that Arvind Kejriwalji is in jail but at the same time there is also no denying that Arvind Kejriwalji is a vision, he's a inspiration, he's a vichar, he's not just a human being and we all came together with his vision, you know, that we have to ensure that everybody gets the best education in the country, everybody gets the finest health, they don't have to burden themselves with healthcare costs and all of that. So, that's in all of us. And, well, even Arvind Kejriwalji, as he's behind in jail, he's running the government very successfully. We've already seen two or three orders that have been passed now. And they're under execution. Orders have been passed. So, that will not be an issue at all. And we do believe that justice will prevail. We just hope it is sooner than later. All right. Thank you so much, Priyanka Kakkar, for joining us on The Wire. And we'll keep tracking all these developments very closely for you on The Wire. Thank you for watching. To receive instant updates on all videos from The Wire, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Pay to support independent journalism. Click the link in the description and choose the amount you want to pay.